In this tutorial, we're going to look at the area of combined shapes, so an introduction to combined shapes. Let's remind ourselves, what does area measure? Here's a rectangle, and area measures the size of the inside of a 2D shape. And the shape is always divided into squares. So we cover the 2D shape in squares to work out the area. And the area of this rectangle is 12 squares. We've been looking at some area formulas. And we've known some for quite some time, that the area of a square equals side times side, or side squared. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The area of a parallelogram is base times perpendicular height. And the area of a triangle equals base times perpendicular height divided by 2. And you might recall that's because a triangle is half of a parallelogram. We've started looking at the area of a trapezium, and some of you might know the formula already. Here's a trapezium. A trapezium is simply a four-sided shape, or a quadrilateral, with one set of parallel lines. So as you can see, or I'll tell you, that the top and the bottom line there are parallel. So this is a trapezium. Here's some measurements that we'll use to work out the area. So just have a think about how you would work out the area, and I'll show you what I would do, but there's more than one way. If I know the formula, I can work it out like that, but if I don't, I'm actually gonna cut it up into pieces, into shapes that I do know the formula for. So I'm actually making it a combined shape. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it down there vertically and make on the left a triangle and on the right hand side a rectangle because I know the formulas for those so it's going to be nice and easy for me. So let's work the area out of the triangle and then the rectangle and we'll put them together and we'll get the final answer for the whole trapezium. Alright, triangle first. Think about the measurements. Base times perpendicular height divided by 2. What's the base down to the, down to the bottom of that triangle? It's only a short little side there. I can look at the 10 right along the bottom and the 7 along the top and I work out that that little piece to the bottom left is 3 centimetres. So my base is 3 centimetres. And the perpendicular height is 4 centimetres. And that comes from the right hand side right across, right across to the right there. I divide by 2. So it's 3 centimetres by 4 centimetres divided by 2 and I get 6 square centimetres. Now for the rectangle. Area equals length times width equals 7 centimetres by 4 centimetres equals 28 square centimetres. So the um, triangle is 6 and the rectangle is 28. So my total area equals 6 square centimetres plus 28 square centimetres equals 34 square centimetres. Pause and have a look at that if you like or even replay a little bit. If you're ready, is there another way? That was one way. You might be able to split it a different way. Press pause, have a think about a different way of working out the area of this same trapezium. Okay, there could be more than this way. You might have used the formula, but I'm gonna have a go at this way. Perhaps you did it too. I'm gonna to split it into two triangles. Alright, let's work out that one sort of to the bottom left. The formula, then the numbers. The base is 10 and the perpendicular height is 4. So 10 centimetres by 4 centimetres divided by 2 gives me 20 square centimetres. That's the one to the bottom left. Now moving across to the triangle on the right, towards the top right, the base could be 7 or you could be looking at the 4. It wouldn't really matter. Okay, you could use the base as 7 or 4. I've used 7 centimetres times 4 centimetres and get 28 divided by 2 and I get 14 square centimetres. 
So my total area equals 20 square centimetres plus 14 square centimetres equals 34 square centimetres. Same answer as I got a moment ago when I divided the same shape into a triangle and a rectangle. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it as long as it works for you. Probably look, think about the one that you would prefer to do when you're looking at questions and choose the one that you want to do. Same answer either way. All right, in summary, what we've learned today is that the area measures the size of the inside of a 2D shape. The shape is always divided into squares. And you can cut combined shapes into standard shapes, nice easy shapes. And look for more than one way if you're gonna cut it into pieces and then choose the best way that will work for you. Okay, thanks.